Now we'll look into a part that like what are the types of ARM processor that we have. ARM processor that have been designed till now can be classified into two types of processors. Classical ARM processor, Cortex ARM processors. Classical ARM processors are something like ARM 7, ARM 9, ARM 11. These are the three main um, ARM processors which have which have got wide popularity in the market. There might be another other uh, control uh, pro processors launched by ARM company, but like not got that popular in the market. So ARM seven is the first first uh, processor from processor family from the ARM that got widespread uh, application. Okay, again because of thumb instruction and the debugging feature that they have added. Of course, the low power and the small size and the cost also, but majorly these two reasons. ARM 7, 9 and the 11 are like just an increase in the complexity of the basic ARM 7 family. ARM 7 family, like an example I will tell you, ARM 7 family has three stage pipeline. ARM 9 family has five stage pipeline. ARM 11 family has seven stage pipeline. It is just an increase in the complexity of the same fundamental architecture. Okay. ARM 7, 9, and 11. Once they came to this point, like of designing ARM 11, they understood that there are so many different applications. We cannot fit all the applications or we cannot. Fulfill all the application requirements using a single processor type. Hence, they have launched three categories of processors. And then they started saying it as a Cortex family of processors. There is a Cortex M series, R series, and A series. You can see this all marked in red or Cortex A series. They are designed to work with some operating system. And hence, they are mostly mostly the part of mostly the part of our mobile right mobile has this uh, android operating system hence if you check what is the fundamental processor which is there in the mobile 90% of the mobile it is mostly an arm cortex a series processor arm cortex a series processor right then there is a cortex r series processor R series is for uh, time critical applications. Or I can say like R stands for real time applications, wherein which A stands for application processor, Cortex application processor, Cortex real time processor, Cortex microcontroller type processors, or microcontroller uh, processor for microcontroller type of applications. Okay. So, Cortex R is widely used in 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 very much wherever there is a time critical application. For example, I'll just give one quick example. Uh, in our flash, whenever we need to capture a photo, if I use if I'm using the flash flashlight, the flashlight is available only for that small duration, and the image has to be captured exactly in that duration. If it is captured slightly before or after. There is no use, use of having a flash on a mobile or any camera, camera mobile, I'm saying. So the real time defines a task has to be happened within that time. If there is time crosses, there is no use of it. And these Cortex R series are most widely used in automobile uh, sectors, especially for airbags. If the, if the car has an airbag, then when, when a car meets with an accident, the airbag has to open in that duration where in which the chest should, it should open before a chest should hit the steering because of an accident that normally like when we are driving with, when, uh, with, with 100 kilometers per hour, when, when there is a crash or when there is a crash or an accident, it is... Uh, <clears throat> Our, our, our 
it is high probability that like we will go and hit the steering a driver will go and hit the steering especially our driver head uh, or the chest part will crush against the steering hence there will be a airbag inside a steering which will blow up and then like uh, it gives a cushion effect between the steering and the chest on the face of the driver so that airbag has to open in that short duration if it does not open in that short duration it opens slightly before or after that it's of no use these are very very time critical applications so for that kind of application cortex r series processors are defined or designed then there is something called like microcontroller based uh, uh, processors or like i can say like processor designed for microcontroller applications those are called as cortex m series in here like time is slightly plus or minus time is okay and these are mostly used where in which uh, to develop a, a a home automation if i if i just come inside a room or inside a classroom the light should go off the presenter like the um, projector should turn on the screen should come down and all this should the it should monitor the temperature turn on the fan in or the ac in particular temperature if it has to be happen all these things has to be happen we need to monitor the entry and the exit of the people and monitor the temperature control the fan control the lights these kind of applications cortex m series are used so in arm processor family there is a classical processor and the cortex series in classical there is an 7 arm 7 9 and 11 after that they have classified the processor based on the application criteria or application requirement cortex m series r series and a series a series example mobile r series go example of real time application like airbag or a flash of a camera or like uh the camera in the mobile the m series is for like some controlling application that like kind of home home automation thing that i have just mentioned okay so these are the types of arm processor families